This is Derek. He's a sophomore at Bow High School. This is Heidi. She's a senior at Bow High School. It's intercession time at BHS, so both students need to make some decisions about what they want to do for intercession. I'm a senior. I don't have to do intercession this year. Actually, seniors do need to participate in intercession. What? Like since when? Like since forever. It's a vicious rumor all students participate in intercession. Just skip it. It's not like it matters. Actually, it goes on your transcript. Eh, whatever. Derek had a great time last year hiking in the White Mountains. Now Derek is busy researching his options for this year. Earlier in the day, there was a community meeting where teachers showed their activities. Derek is now online looking at descriptions and agendas. Oh man, there's so many awesome activities this year! <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. That's the one. That's with Mr. Dixon. He's the best. Derek has decided which intercession activity he will pursue for this year. Let's hope he takes a minute to figure out which other options he might like as well. I probably should find some other options just in case I don't get the first one. It is important to have several other options because not everyone can get their first choice. It's why the form asks for seven choices. It is important to carefully review the options and costs and to have all seven choices listed out. Make sure to review the choices with your parents as parents are a crucial part of the intercession decision-making process. Ah, my advisory teacher, Dr. Gage. Intersection forms all signed out, ready to go, and I talked to my parents. Thanks, Derek. Right on time <laughs> and signed by your parents. Thanks a lot. It appears as though Derek has successfully turned in his intercession form on time. Nicely done, Derek. Heidi, on the other hand, seems to be preoccupied. Heidi, did you complete your intercession request form? Oh wait, I'll do it right now. But you will need to get your parents to sign it. But I'm over 18. Yes, but it's a form of communication. It allows the school staff to know that parents have been involved in the decision-making process. Whatever. Derek's intercession form is turned in to Miss Bean, the keeper of intercession selection forms. Miss Bean places Derek's form in the sophomore binder. Within each grade, student pages are organized alphabetically by advisor and then alphabetized by student. When the committee is ready to start putting students in activities, the committee works with seniority. Seniority, noun, from the mid 15th century in medieval Latin, senioritis. Meanings. One, higher in rank or age. Two, pre precedence or status obtained as a result of a person's length of service. The committee starts with seniors. They've waited to be the first in line, and everyone gets to be a senior eventually. Your turn at the front will arrive soon enough. The committee will randomly select advisors by pulling an advisor's name from a hat. This ensures that the same advisories won't go first or last every year. Then a student is selected randomly from that advisory group. Random. Objective, proceeding, made, or occurring without definite aim, reason, or pattern. Chosen without regard to any characteristics of the individual members of the population so that each has an equal chance of being selected. The randomization allows for no specific person or group to get first choice every year. Any student of that age bracket has an equal opportunity for selection. Once a student's form is selected, the committee looks to the student's first choice. If there is an open slot, the student is placed in that activity. If not, the student's name goes on a waiting list just in case. Should the student not receive the first choice, the committee will look at the second choice, and so on, until the student is placed in an activity. This process is continued until all students are assigned to an activity. As you can see, this is a rigorous and time-consuming process. I got my intercession sheet to turn in. Uh, wasn't that due like last week? Whatever. Hold on, I got a text. Gotta get out of the way. But I'm 18! Sugar! The end. 
a common expression used to denote the conclusion of, most typically, a book or film.